music superstar Kesha and the damning allegations that she is leveled against one of the music business's biggest producers. Yes, yeah, she is accusing him of horribly abusive acts, physically, mentally, sexually, verbally, emotionally, if it's true, it's reprehensible. While well, the pop star's attorney is speaking out to us, it's tonight's top story, Kesha's explosive abuse claims. It's going down, I'm yelling to my there was a consistent pattern of emotional, psychological, and financial abuse. Don't stop making pop, DJ, blow my speakers up. He literally drove her into rehab. And the most serious charge in this case is the date rape charge, the administering what he calls a sober pill, which I suspect was a GHB dose. Here's why Kesha's allegations are rattling the music industry today. 41-year-old Dr. Luke isn't just any music producer. He's arguably the man behind Katy Perry, Miley Cyrus, and he's written hits for Britney Spears Would you hold it against me? and Kelly Clarkson. Dr. Luke played a huge role in Kesha's success, signing her to his record label when she was just 18 years old. I'm looking for voices that are distinctive. That's the most important thing to me. But it's all turned ugly. There's even speculation today that Kesha wrote an unreleased song about him called Dancing with the Devil. Kesha claims Dr. Luke also demeaned her, calling her a fat, expletive refrigerator. The alleged abuse could have impacted Kesha's behavior. A lot of the crazy moments played out in her 2013 MTV docuseries. Let's go get your <laughs> One of the dirty little secrets of the music business is that there is this kind of disproportionate um, leveraging or power, and, um, and these young, talented, impressionable, oftentimes females who get taken advantage of. Why would she want to leave that successful formula mm -hmm. if there wasn't another reason? The talk Sharon Osbourne supporting Kesha today, but Dr. Luke is fighting back. He's filed a countersuit calling it all extortion and says Kesha's claims are outrageous and untrue. And this is interesting. Back in 2011 on Nightline, Kesha had nothing but praise for him. His sense of malady is just, it's like, a gift from God. It's bizarre. Everything that comes out of his mouth is incredible and is so catchy and hooky. It's not unusual for the abused to be in a situation where they go back. The battered woman syndrome. Here's one of the reasons she may have stayed, the money. Dr. Luke has reportedly earned more than $100 million in his career, and Kesha's played a large part in that fortune. Her hit, TikTok, alone reportedly brought in just around $20 million. That's, that's a lot of money. And this guy owned her. Yeah. He controlled her entire world. He produced everything for Kesha, including her reality show. And I want to mention that Kesha's mom has been very vocal about all this in the past and even claimed that Dr. Luke did cause Kesha to develop bulimia, which is also in the lawsuit, just it's claiming he was awful to her. It's a troubling story. Yeah.